Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're gonna to draw Peabody from Fortnite Wrecked. Let's get in there at the top and start with his head. So he's got a little sort of, sort of curl at the top of his uh, kind of like a pea-shaped hood. There's a little leaf going on here, so I can just do a little sort of heart shape there, put a line in the middle and it goes up. Let's just join the two up. Cool, okay. Then what we've got is kind of like there's a point here and this kind of comes out like so and then in like that. Same on the other side, so it kind of comes out and then in like that. Okay, cool. Let's just go along the edge of that and just make a little sort of piped area around it. Just adds like a cool little bit of detail around this. Okay, cool. Then around here we've got like the hood, so that kind of comes around there. Kind of comes in a little bit like that. Then we've got like a um, shoulder area that comes out like so. Comes in, a couple of little sort of little cracks and distressed sort of look in the, the hoodie sort of top. Then that kind of comes in there and around, and it comes in there. Then on this side it kind of keeps continues round, sort of comes up. It's kind of like got little kind of um, little like hoodie bits here, so little hoodie strings. So I'm just gonna put a couple of those in, around there, okay. And then that can continue sort of into that area there. And then it can go up around where the hoodie is and up like that. Kind of comes out where the shoulder is here. So again, we kind of can sort of come out like that and around like that. It's almost like a little bit of piping around the edges of those. So I'm just gonna kind of just draw piping for detail, kind of purposes there. All right, cool. Uh, so what we can do next is get the belt in. So it's got uh, like a rectangle going on here. Just a little bit of detail, so another little line in it. A couple of little sort of lines for detail there. Then uh, there's a belt that goes around here. So I'm just gonna kind of draw in another rectangle and then a couple of rectangles there. We sort of show the belt lines either side of that. Then sort of the trousers come down here, got like shorts on, the middle is around there. And then what I do is just draw like the inside part of the leg is there, like there, so we've kind of like got like the inner part there. Then what we can do is sort of put a little rectangular box on these shorts there, but then it kind of comes down. It's like a bigger pocket around it like that and then they kind of sort of taper in and then out again like that. And then on this side except he's got a, a wrench in his pocket here so it's kind of like a, sort of a side rectangle area there kind of like straps around it and then there's like a, a bit of a, a wrench going on um, so I'll just draw, draw that in there and then again the trousers will come here and then he's holding his big hammer thing so I'll, I'll leave that proportion there for the moment. In fact let's go up to the, the arm and kind of draw that in so a few little sort of leaves and things uh, sort, of, sort of start there so I do like a, like a heart shaped sort of leaf going in there and sort of like the elements kind of twist around. It's kind of got a circular bit there of a P on the hammer so a couple of little eyes there. Draw another circle around that kind of comes down, that's where that's sort of the, the main hammer area is and it's all just like, bits sort of like pea vine going around it. Uh, and then a bit more there and then like circular areas where the, like the end of the hammer is. So just a couple of little kind of circles in like that. Okay, cool, that's good. Right, that's got that bit in. Then what we can do is just draw that like tapered bit in here, continue the pocket portion there, draw in little line there and then we can put his legs in. He's kind of got, on his knees, he's kind of got um, sort of like four little circles, like rivets, and join those up, make a little sort of kneecap um, shield. I think he's got the same on the other side. It's a little bit obscured, so just sort of draw a hint of that on that side there. Link it up with two lines, link it up with a line there. And then it kind of comes down a bit further and then we've kind of got these sort of swirly little vines in, so just sort of little swirl sort of areas going in there, come out here, sort of like a gap in the middle, like little sort of swirly areas coming around there. 
and then he's got uh, the tongue of his cool boots on so big boots uh, tongue there little rectangles in them and then again there's sort of like little lines around that the end of them comes up here um, this one same sort of thing and then just bring out sort of the, the toe cap area big chunky soles on them the side it's kind of got a bit of like vine on the end of that so like coming out the toe area so just like make that work pop a little lower sole area in a few little markings to show sort of the treads and then little bits go over there this one's got like more little vine bits that go around it so just sort of drawing little bits of detail there and then just sort of link it all up make it look like, like all as one there okay all right that's pretty cool let's get the rest of this arm in so this hammer bit here sort of like there's a couple of little lines that come out and they kind of get squared off a little bit then he's got like his um big gloved hand on so I'm just going to do like a circular area around that a little bit sort of like a bit on the knuckles there like some circles a bit of a band going on here and then it's like the glove comes up and up out and out sort of linked up there uh, and then I've got a band on there and then he's got this weird sort of vine sort of looking arm so that kind of comes around, sort of up here. And then this all links up uh, to the top area there. Sort of like, almost like little sort of tubey sort of pipes and things going on from there, around there. Okay, that's cool. Next up, he's got his glove area on this side. So move those a little bit. Uh, so the glove area is around here. So it's going to do like the top of the glove, like a V shape there. And again, it's got another little like band on here, and he's kind of holding a wrench. So it's going to put a little thumb there. And again, he's got these little vine bits on. So it's going to draw a couple of little vine bits here, and a little leaf. And these vine bits go around to the back there, and then kind of like I think that must be his fingers in there. Just move it around there, and then we can do a couple of little lines here, and then he's kind of got. Uh, the wrench area, so bring that out like that, and it comes around. And so, a chunky wrench in his hand there, join up the edges where we've kind of left that out. And maybe a little bit of there, bring it uh, And then again, he's got this sort of vine area around him, so he's sort of twisting around like little pipes almost. Around here, this one kind of comes up around to there, around, and then in, like that there, and then this kind of just sort of twists in inwards there. A little bit tricky, but it looks really, really effective. Okay, that's cool. Right, uh, so let's just join these little bits up here so we've got more of a complete picture. And it's got like three little faces in here, so. Uh, at least for eyes, so I'm going to do a couple of circles here, and there's all sort of like, like oblong little bits in the eyes there. It's just sort of curve around there and top for the P. Then he's got like a more like little sort of evil one, so he's got like more oblong eyes in like that. And there we go, and then that kind of comes in around like this, around just underneath. Then we've got this like little one in here, so two round circles there, and then we're just gonna do little halves in there, and then a circle comes up there, like he's a little, a little bit tired and a little smile on in there. And that kind of comes in there, let's colour that in around like that. And the, these areas actually, what I'll do is just colour these bits in with the black pen. Uh, that's cool, that's effective. And then just a little smile on in there, and a little sort of sneaky grin, a little sneaky smirk on him there. And then let's just uh, just ground him a little bit. So just gonna put a bit of terrain behind him like that. 
Cool, okay, let's get the green pen and a nice vibrant green and let's start coloring in all the green areas. So start at the bottom here, why not? And just start, start coloring in some of those little green loops that are going around, joining up all around here. arm here, so this arm area around here, and it just links in there. Cool, okay. Uh, let's get a nice blue, just fill those uh, blue areas of the pick in. So there's a blue band here, there's a blue band around there, and just sort of put a blue in for the, uh, the shorts. In between there, there's a little belt area in as well, so those bits can go filled in there. off the um, material, metallic material around here as well. So it's like a little blue base in, maybe a little bit of blue just around these bits too. Just sort of pop it in there. Then we'll get ourselves a nice light brown. Let's fill in um, the glove areas. Cool, and then let's 
to get ourselves a um, slightly dark brown and just sort of differentiate a little bit with some of those darker colours, add a little bit of sort of detail. There's some little bits can be sort of darker than others and then I kind of like a shadow coming around here, maybe the piping. It just starts to enhance the picture loads when we start to sort of do this sort of thing. This is quite a lot dark around here. Again, around there. It's around here, that's darker on that side. And the boots, the shoes, maybe the soles are a little bit darker on those edges. And that's the toe area, it's just a little bit of shading going on. Maybe it's in there too. And let's just see if we can just add a little bit of that sort of darker grey to the. Uh, shorts here so it sort of adds a bit of an idea of some shading again around there yeah that's cool that's good maybe in there it's all right cool okay and then just get yourself a bit of dark green and then we'll just just put a few little sort of touches around like the vine areas and things just to add that again that little bit of detail that quite nice to, to have on the pick. The green is so zingy, this dark green will help enhance those sort of zingy bits that we have around here. And the, hoodie, the hoodie itself actually is a little bit darker than the rest of them, so I'm just gonna maybe just accentuate that darker green like in that hoodie area. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good base. Let's build on that base. Okay, it's starting to look like Peabody now. This is all good. Maybe it kind of bounces off there. Still got a little bit of green at the top. Just in the leaf area, just up top there. And just a little hint of it where the shading goes in here. So just around where the peas are. Just under his eyes there. Bring that around that circular area. So it just gives a hint of the uh, sort of the shading going on around here, Maybe in there as well. That's cool. Uh, I think I might get that nice sort of dark background as well. Um, so it's like standing on some sort of greenery. That'll look pretty cool. So just just pop that in underneath there. That's Peabody nearly done. is Peabody. On Art Draw. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, I'll keep doing the videos. See you again.